not to be a Debbie Downer here, but Disney's remakes and Disney's, you know, live action remakes of their old properties. Because they can't come up with any new ones. I know. It's like they ran out of ideas. No, they're too cheap to come up with. They don't want to take a chance on a new idea if it's going to cost them money. They are... Ca now, I can't even say cash flow is the problem. They were cash flush before all this hit. They're, cash, they're crying cash poor now. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, apparently, so. apparently, Disney World in Florida, I think Disney World's in Florida, the Disney Resort in Florida is apparently packed right now. Florida's just unleashed the floodgates. But anyway, that has nothing to do with the, uh, the all these remakes. F you, F your remakes. Keep your remakes. Yeah. As if you guys didn't lose your shirts on Mulan in China, for God's sake. <laughs> they lost a fortune on that remake. So oh. far. Now, how long they're going to keep them in Chinese theaters is another matter entirely. But... Uh. It's not like you can easily convert it's, one yeah, to it's dollars not, anyway. But, mm. It isn't. But, um, so anyway, they are remaking the live action version of Peter Pan. This one's called Peter Pan and Wendy, mm -hmm. which will be, uh, I, I don't know how many of these Disney or uh, Peter Pan movies that there actually has been different versions. There's been quite a few Peter Pans quite. over the years. Yeah. But uh, they got Jude Law as Captain Hook and they recently just added uh, <laughs> damn names Yura Shibia or whatever. I don't, I don't yeah, Yura Smurf. Hmm. Yura Smurf. Just call her that. <laughs> Yura Smurf. Smurf. There you go. Is playing Tinkerbell. Uh, you, she's <laughs> best, facelift. Yeah, she's best known on a TV show called Blackish and Grownish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she like was the. I think she was the teenage daughter in Blackish, and then she was the lead college student in Grownish. Yeah, it's uh, directed by <laughs> David Lorry. Uh, he's did uh, Peach Dragon, which actually is a good movie, mm -hmm. to be honest. A Ghost Story and The Old Man and the Gun. Which is all actually really good movies as well. Mm. So, Peter Pan's one of those things. It's got a weird relationship with Disney because unlike everything else, there are certain franchises Disney is known for, but they don't have the rights to it. Yeah. They have the rights to make things, and but they don't own them outright, which drives Disney insane. They hate that. That's why they bought Marvel out. It's why they bought Pixar out. That's why they bought all these other uh, Lucasfilm out. They want to own the IP, but these estates, the A.A. A. Milne estate, which owns Winnie the Pooh, will not sell, as far as I know. Last I heard, that was a couple of years ago. And uh, James Berry, I think, is the creator on Peter Pan. He actually donated, he actually willed the rights to Peter Pan to the to the Royal Children's Hospital in London. So, and because he did <coughs> that, it means that the rights to Peter Pan belong to the Royal Children's Hospital in London in perpetuity because it was the royalty of England that established that child, that hospital, Royal Children's Hospital. And as a result, Disney will never, ever, ever own Peter Pan. So it ticks them off because they oh. have to. They still have to cut them in for a cut of the action every time they do one of these things. But they think they can make more money off of it than just reissuing the old, the old stuff. Which, to be honest, the old cartoon that Disney did probably not going to see a re-release anytime soon. Because given another year or two, it's going to wind up right next to Song of the South, in deep in the Disney trash bin pit. Yes. <laughs> oh boy, the oh, what was the name of the little girl that in Never Neverland, the the Indian princess? Can't think of her name, but either way, they only used her once. That's what, that was plenty. But uh, anyway. Yeah, no, yeah. <sighs> I, 
this is one of those things where, honestly, of all their Disney live-action remakes, I could care less about. So, honestly, even if they went, you know, scene by scene as the original, it doesn't bother me now because more than likely I probably may not go see this movie. Or I may just to have something to do. It's Peter Pan. I know the damn story. I have seen different versions of it throughout my lifetime, so I know the story and different stories. So, eh. We were talking about this before we filmed, and my only question is, who who are they going to get to play Peter Pan? Is yes. it good? Because traditionally it's been females in the live-action roles yeah. because they tend to be a little more spry, a little more acrobatic-minded than men can. Plus, by using their higher pitch, they register as boys instead of right. as grown men. <clears throat> Man, I think I finally figured out they're going to have to hire a transvestite to play Peter Pan, which is going to be some guy who identifies as a woman. It's going to look like utter garbage. Women are going to complain because they've lost yet another role Another I thought, opportunity I to a they, transsexual. I thought they kind of already did that with cats. Nah, they were all pussies there. <laughs> <And> anyway. <laughs> but but that's mean, what's going on in, uh, in the state of Connecticut right now with high school sports. They're, they're allowing transsexual, so-called transsexual athletes transitioning from male to female to compete in female sports in the high school levels. So, needless to say, there's two of them so far. They have set every single record on track and field in the state of Connecticut for high school girls. Oh. Two boys who say, they're, who say they're girls. So, needless to say, there's a lot of women upset about all of this. Wow. That's why I was wondering who's going to wind up with Peter Pan. Knowing, knowing Disney the way I do, do, do... They will wind up animating the thing. Disney, <laughs> yeah, Disney. I mean, they're they're, they're even doing a uh, Robin Hood based off of the their version with the foxes. They're doing a live action version of it apparently. So it'd be like CGI foxes. Just as wrong. If you're gonna have <laughs> CGI foxes running around doing this, That's... they better be running around on all fours. <laughs> Don't you dare have them on two legs. Uh, I'm just saying, Disney. Disney's just it's, weird, man. Well, if if I'm okay, if I'm at Disney and I have to shoot a live action remake of Robin Hood, I'm gonna go out to Nottingham Forest with a dart gun, and I'm gonna I'm gonna knock out a bunch of foxes and a bear. And I'm going to put a lion out there, a mountain lion. I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to dress them all in period outfits. And then when they wake up, I'm just going to film what happens. I'm going to have little GoPro cameras all over the place at different angles. I'm just going to film what happens. There you go. And then at the very end, I'm going to say, and Robin kicked King John's butt and lived happily ever after. So... <laughs> you know what, that ought to be, it ought to, especially ought to be fun with all the little rabbits who... Who kept getting into trouble because... Oh, those poor rabbits are... <laughs> it will not be kid-friendly. This people. is not Beatrix Potter, no.